Hey, what is up, Internet? Kyle here, Slapshot Toys, doing another little hunt video for you today. So today is actually Memorial Day. So first off, I hope everyone out there is having a fantastic holiday weekend. And throughout the quarantine, my wife and I, we have been doing several home projects, and one of them was redoing our master bedroom. So we repainted, repainted the furniture, did a whole bunch of stuff to it. So now she needs some new sheets. So we're going to run out to Target real quick and go buy those sheets. And of course, if I'm going to Target, I'm going to go to the toy aisle. So I'm going to go look for some McFarland figures and also our local half price books is now open so we're gonna go there and just kind of see what they have a lot of times they actually have a fairly decent selection of collectibles from dc batman things like that so we're just gonna go over see what they have and we're taking you guys along with us so let's go so we're here in the toy aisle at Target and looking at McFarlane figures. They do have the animated series, Batman, have the action comic Superman, which I'm really tempted on picking that guy up. Actually, what I've been seeing out here in the wild, as I drop our stuff, is Harley. Still need to pick up that Harley, so I may do that today. So I still really like this Batman and King Shark little 12 inch two pack that's a target exclusive that just looks really cool and then just some more mission stuff down here and they even have like a voice changing batman cow which looks pretty cool so some pretty cool little stuff here in the batman aisle don't really collect legends but i'll show you they do have some of the new x-men wave here actually pretty well stocked on that the black widow wave they have a couple spider-man clearance figures and then just more black widow and they even have the deluxe version down here. So I came over here to like more of the pop culture section and sure enough they actually have three of the Wonder Womans and then actually sorry two of the normal Wonder Womans like two of the Golden Age winged Wonder Womans as well. I haven't picked up anything outside of the Batman but that actually looks like a pretty freaking cool Wonder Woman. I think at some point I'm gonna have to pick one of those up. And stop number two for today is Half Price Books so we're gonna go in and see what they have. They do have the Titan Joker from the Arkham games here for $80 so pretty cool looking figure. You see kind of a couple of DC figures, a couple of legends, and a freaking ton of pops. You also have the Talia from uh, the Arkham City games. But here we are in the comics, so it's looking for some Batman trades. A lot of the stuff I actually have in single issues, but I like to pick it up in trade form. The one I'm really looking at right now is volume one of The Dark Knight. This is one of my favorite Batman runs um, with David Finch as the artist and it's just phenomenal. It's the hardcover so I'm thinking I may pick up that to complete my kind of trade collection of those things since I have the single issues only but a lot of really good stuff so they do have some of the hardcover to Detective Comics um, which I believe this was the layman yep so this is the new 52 run um, volumes five and three of that and then yeah just quite a bit as far as Batman is concerned. Not really seeing a whole lot as far as image for stuff I'm currently looking for. Gonna do a little bit more digging to see if there's anything else uh, that I want to pick up but definitely probably gonna pick up a couple Batman trades. So we are all done at Target and Half Price Books and just want to show you the little haul that we got from today's trip. The first thing I'm going to show you is what I picked up at Half Price Books. So I did end up picking up three hardcover Batman trades. The first ones are the ones I showed you that I actually pulled off the shelf and those are the Dark Knight Volumes 1 and 2 from the New 52 run. Absolutely love this. I'd have all these in single cover, but like I said, I just wanted them in the nice hardcover format. And then when I was looking through, they did have Scott Snyder's All-Star Batman Volume 1. Again, have all the single issues of this, just wanted it in trade form and I'm a sucker for hardcovers. Had to pick that up. So that's what I picked up from Half Price Books. So next up from Target, I did end up picking up the McFarlane Harley Quinn. So obviously this is like the very nice animated series style Harley and I just love the look of it. I think she's going to look gorgeous next to my animated series McFarlane Batman. So couldn't pass her up and had to add her to the McFarlane collection. The next piece I actually didn't buy obviously at either store, but it did come in the mail today and that is the McFarlane Batman Who Laughs. So you see there the really nice sinister evil Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo creation. Just looks absolutely gorgeous. Cannot wait to get him unboxed and I think since this was such a quick trip I'm gonna go ahead unbox these two guys and just give you guys a little mini review so let's go ahead get these guys cracked open and let's take a look at these two figures and here we have our Batman who laughs and Harley Quinn unboxed both of these figures look fantastic they have some amazing sculpts some really cool details and honestly some fantastic articulation the first figure we're gonna take a look at is gonna be the Batman who laughs and kind of giving you a closer little look at the detail just a, an insane amount of detailing going all throughout the coat here with all these straps 
straps just looks fantastic with all the buckles and everything just sculpted and painted beautifully get some nice stitch work here across the collar and then of course the one main thing with the batman who laughs is this face and just look at that freaking grin i love how they were able to sculpt out all the individual teeth just looks so incredibly amazing then coming down here you do have the fray on the coat pants pretty kind of basic just black leather pants but they look very nice very detailed the boots look awesome with all of the different laces and straps and i think the thing that has impressed me the most about these mcfarland figures is the articulation so you get some really nice movement there in the double joint elbow there's a cut here at the bicep arms go out to about a little bit past a full t there's rotation and a ab crunch here at the waist which works fantastic the leg can kick out quite a bit you have a double joint and knee that offers awesome movement so you get a tons of range of motion there and then probably the weakest part like i said in my other reviews of this line of figures is the feet there is the ankle rocker and then it does hinge up and down and accessory wise with the batman who laughs you do get this knife right here which looks really really nice so these have a lot more detail than the accessories that i had on the first couple figures that i got that i really did not like this at least has some really nice weathering effects some detail there throughout the blade and then i guess this would be a scythe i guess is what you would consider this but once again you do get a little bit of nice detail get some nice weathering effect and then the handle grips are detailed out nicely as well and then does come with the standard black dc base also the batman who laughs is part of the batmobile build a figure piece uh, if you guys watched my other unboxing of nightwing i got this centerpiece batman who laughs comes with this left side piece not super thrilled about this because they upcharge you to be able to put this together and it feels like hollow plastic so it feels like some another happy meal toy but you go ahead and put that together and we have the center and left side of our Batmobile. The only piece that I am missing now is the right side, which comes with Batgirl. I should have her shortly, so we'll be able to put together our Batmobile. And now to take a closer look at Harley. Honestly, I think this may be one of my favorite figures in this first wave. The reason being, this just looks fantastic. This literally looks like Harley from the animated series. That face sculpt looks awesome. I love that little smirk that they gave her. The hood looks awesome with some detail there. The collar looks fantastic. The suit doesn't have a whole lot of detail just because, I mean, it's obviously just a black and red checkered spandex suit. But you do get the diamonds there on the bicep and the forearm. You get them there on the thigh as well. Like the little cuffs right here. I think they look really nice. Same with the feet. You, get, you do get the nice little boots right there the articulation on this harley is fantastic as well so as far as the elbows they are double jointed so you get wonderful rowing to motion there so there's a cut here at the bicep as far as the arms they do pretty much exactly like the batman who laughs and goes a little bit farther than the full t as far as the head there's a ton of motion here everything from rocking to pivoting to turning she does have a ab crunch here at the abdomen so that does rotate and does go forward and back just a little bit as far as the legs she can kick forward a very good amount double jointed knees that has wonderful range of motion right there and as far as the feet there is rotation they are hinged up and down and she does have this little toe articulation right here and as far as the accessories for harley she is given her famous mallet so here we have the nice little bullseye design and then the kind of dead smiley face right there with the x's over his eyes this looks fantastic really with all the wood grain and different sculpting and everything all throughout here this is a wonderful looking accessory and even just like the actual wrapping here at the handle of the bat looks wonderful with all that detail all that weathering effect it just looks freaking awesome the only issue that I have with this is this handle part is extremely thick and if you take a look at uh, Harley's hands they are actually very very narrow. I kind of felt like when I'm trying to get this in it's going to break her hands. So that's the only kind of issue I see with this accessory is it is a little bit large and definitely take a hair dryer to her hands when you're trying to put this in that way you don't break off her fingers. And then the other accessory this one isn't detailed as nicely but we do have the little kind of comic gun here with like the little bang flag. It looks fine like there's not a whole lot of detail on the actual gun. The paint looks decent enough would have liked to see a little bit more detail throughout here and then just this kind of wire is so thick but the uh, bang looks nice and honestly it's a good displaying option and then of course she does come with the standard dc black base right there now the one issue i think people may have with this line of figures is the scaling so these are all supposed to be seven inch scale figures but really that just means all the figures are seven inches tall as you can see here harley is the exact same height as the animated series batman harley should be quite a bit shorter and a lot more petite than batman if we were actually talking about like the actual size comparison for me personally this really does not matter because i just want representations of these figures i don't really care if they are in the appropriate scale or not i actually kind of would like them the bigger the better to be honest so we can get some really cool detail but just be aware before you go into this line that they are not true to scale so that is going to do it for my little hunt hall mini review video hope you guys really enjoyed it and as i said throughout this and pretty much all through like my last four videos i am absolutely in love with this mcfarlane line all these figures look 
look fantastic. There's so many cool details. The articulation is wonderful. A great price point. I cannot recommend them enough. So if you guys are looking for an awesome Batman line, definitely get into these. They just announced the White Knight series, which is one of my all-time favorite comic runs, and I cannot wait to see those figures and get them into my collection. But once again, I want to thank you guys so much for checking out these videos. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you guys are collecting, if you guys are collecting these McFarlane lines. I know a lot of you have already reached out and asked which ones are my favorites and which ones you guys should pick up. And I've definitely given my recommendations, so I love hearing from you guys. So go ahead and leave a comment. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any future content, including more reviews, hauls, hunts, whatever I can think of. I'm just doing a lot of fun stuff. And be on the lookout because actually not this obviously not this video my next video i'm definitely going to be doing some channel changes just updating graphics just adding maybe a new intro because i'm trying to teach myself after effects so maybe some new stuff coming down the pike at least for like kind of updating and freshing up the channel because i've had the same freaking logo for four years now so i definitely think it's time to add a little spice to the channel but once again i just want to thank you guys so much for checking out these videos and i'll catch you guys later see ya